Hello you guys, welcome back to this amazing sick new video. So over here I got a parcel in <laughs> and it's a very special parcel, so let's open it with my knife. Oh my fucking god, how much tape can you use? I think that was it, so... Let's go on, and... I got a new Pipercross air filter. Uh, I see that this one is actually for the 350Z, but I can use it in my car. Uh, I guess it doesn't look like that, because I didn't order that, but we will see. Uh, more plastic and then over here we got the hardware and some candies oh no, it's candies so hurry bro let's start off with the air filter so I'm gonna put you guys up on the tripod so right over here we got the two packages let's start off with the pop course performance air filter so this is what I got. Nice. And then the bike cross air filter. Oh, it looks so damn amazing. So this will make my car go from this to this. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see if I got any stickers. I don't got any stickers. <laughs> Fuck. Look at this, get a little pamphlet with race filters. And over here we got the... Oh, here's the sticker! Oh, we got this little sticker. Uh, it's a way cleaner sticker, so this sticker is definitely going on my car. Over here we got the hardware. Of course, it doesn't come with the other hardware, but... We got a new hose for the air to go to. And then up here, we got the tube. So up here, we're gonna place the map sensor. And you can see, it's still more like an elephant trunk. So this one is going on top of that, and then this will fit exactly. So we're also gonna paint my engine cover. Let's go on into installing this, and I'll see you guys in the car. So you guys, right now at the moment, it sounds like this. And after, it will sound like this. Oh yeah, we got all the stuff that we need. <laughs> And my tools. But look at this, it's fucking stupid. The air comes in through here, normally through there, but I don't know what this is here. Then it goes into this fucking large box that goes to all the sides, except the, except the right one. Then it goes to here, and then it goes to the air field, and then it goes down. Like, what the fuck? But the new one. It's coming from right here, and then up, and then right here. So we need to undo some screws, like this one, that one, this clip, that screw, and that screw over there. Then we can remove this whole box. So, we're gonna change it up, and let's get into this. So, I also got some cleaner for the air intake. So we're gonna do that right away.
And of last, we got this little clip in here. So I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and I hope I will get it out. And then we need to get this hose clamp off too. And that's gonna be really nice because I have no freaking idea how I'm gonna get right underneath that. Okay, so I find out how I'm gonna do this. I'm first gonna loosen the bolt down there, so I can remove this from the uh, intake, and then we can move on to moving my math sensor. Also, because this is now free, this is gonna be painted. So you guys, I wanted to clean this, but uh, it's it's hella clean. Look, it's so fucking clean, mate. Even beneath that. So I don't need to clean this because everything is super clean. And I also almost stripped this bolt right here. That's small one, but. Luckily, I got it out, so now we can be placing the new one. It's such an asshole, but look at how nice my engine looks right now without all the stuff on there. It's actually way, 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 way better. Damn, right now we have the little tube. But yeah, there's also two new screws in here that we're going to use for the sensor, for the MOF sensor. So it goes in like this. Exactly, you can only fit it in one way. But this one is going on here. And then the mass airflow sensor needs to go in here. So, great, I think. Let's see how this works out. But first, let's put the hose clamp on this side. So then we don't forget that. And then the mess airflow sensor. Uh, I need to figure out how to place it in there, but I will do that and I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh, I finally got it on there. Finally. Here it is. The map sensor. You can see it inside. Uh, it was a little bit of a hassle to screw it on, but in the end it worked. So, the filter is going with P up, of course, and also you can't see this line then. So, let's shove it in then. Shove it on there. Look at that, you guys! Oh, it's like the perfect size for this car. I first thought I was going for the bigger one. For like wider and bigger. Aggressive. But I'm glad I didn't. Because it probably didn't fit anyways. It's such a big hose clamp for such a small thing. No, actually it's not that small. It's 15 centimeters in length. Uh, Taught from something like 10 centimeters in weight. Also, if you're wondering why this is all, that's gonna be a surprise in a little bit. But I can spoil you one thing it's not black anymore. <laughs> okay, you guys, so now it's said that we need to start the call and let it sit for uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So, and then check for 
engine warning lights. So I'm very excited. I just realized that I need to uh, put the screws away before I do this. Okay, I'll put all the screws away. Window is open. And let's see if we can hear something right away. Oh, that sounds fancy. <coughs> you can already hear the ass sucking in. So the time that uh, the 15 minutes that's because of the ECU that needs to be changing and needs to adapt to it. So hey Siri, set a timer for 15 minutes. Oh, sorry for you, is 15 minutes starting now. Yeah. Okay, so in this time. Uh, it's going to adapt. Already there that it's adapting. So I will see you guys in like 15 minutes. Plug in my OBD2 and E OBD in because my engine morning light doesn't work actually. Okay. And let's read it out. Oh, I so hope that there's no engine morning lights. There are none! Look at this, you guys! Look at this! Look at this! Read coats, stored coats, no stored coats, bending coats, nothing. Okay, so let's start my car. It's in free. Everything sounds good. Let's give it a rough. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my fucking god, mate! <laughs> oh, it probably sounds way better on the outside. I'm gonna put you guys outside so you guys can hear it way better. It sounds like it's got a fucking turbo. Obviously, it doesn't have a turbo, but. So, get ready for the grand reveal of my engine bay. Unfortunately, that was the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to help the channel out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.